Hi, I'm Hugh, tech support of LuxPower. Today, we are introducing SNA 12K US parallel system. By connecting three SNA 12K, you get up to 36 input and output capacity. Enough to handle all your household appliances. Just remember, the maximum parallel unit is 16 units, and the PV strings could not be shared among inverters. In this video, we provide wiring method, remote settings and LCD settings. And now let's start with the wiring process. We will set this inverter as primary unit of this parallel system. As you can see, these are the ports of the primary inverter. This is the PV input port. We are going to update a new type of PV ports. This is a grid port. This is where you connect the generator. This is the load port, and this is a smart load port. And here is where you connect the battery. All the neutral wires are supposed to be connected here, and this is where you connect the ground cables. This is the interface board where you connect battery communication cable and parallel communication cable. Note. The wiring for single phase and three phase parallel connections differs at the grid, load, and generator when connecting to the distribution box. You can refer to the corresponding section based on your actual wiring needs. Use a splitter to separately route L1 and L2 lines to the grid terminal of each inverter. Connect L1, L2, and neutral lines from the generator device to the splitter, and then route L1 and L2 lines to each parallel connected device. Each load, L1 and L2, should have two live wires connected to the splitter. Draw three phase input lines from the splitter and connect them to the corresponding faces of the system in the order shown in the animation sequence. Three phase parallel connection involves drawing the three phase input line on the splitter and subsequently connecting them to the corresponding phases of the system following the sequence depicted in the animation. Each load, a 1 and a 2, should have two live wires connected to the splitter according to the animation combination. All inverters can be connected in parallel to the same battery bank. Each inverter should be connected to independent PV arrays. It is dangerous to share the same PV array. Connect each system's neutral line separately and integrate it into the main neutral bus bar. Connect each system PV line separately and integrate them into the main PV bus bar. Connect parallel communication cables to each inverter. For the first and last inverters, set the DIP switch to 1 1. Connect the communication line of the main battery to the corresponding communication interface of any inverter. Please pay attention to the communication protocol interface of the battery when connecting. 
navigate to the parallel setup interface. Choose single phase. Select share battery. The device restarts after applying this change. The settings for each LCD in single phase parallel operation are the same. After reading the data, scroll down to Application Settings and find Parallel Settings. Select the Single Phase Parallel Operation. And enable Shared Battery. Find and select another device in the drop-down list. Repeat the steps until all devices in the system are configured. Navigate to the parallel setup interface. Choose free phase. Select this phase. Choose share battery. The device restarts after applying this change. Using the same method, set up all other devices, ensuring that the face of each device is different. After reading the data, scroll down to application settings and find parallel settings. Select three phase parallel operation. Enable shared battery and choose the corresponding phase. Locate and connect to another device in the drop down list. Enter the parallel settings and ensure you select the correct phase for each device. Repeat until all devices in the parallel system are set up and each is assigned a different phase. After setting, the system automatically chooses one of the devices as the primary device. 